domains of earth it has already been stated earth is the only planet in the solar system which sustains life the major domains of the earth which help to sustain life are lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere these domains are interactive and interdependent spheres the solid portion of the earth on which we live is called lithosphere rock in the solid form are found only in the lithosphere the gaseous envelope of air that surrounds the earth is known as atmosphere the atmosphere contains oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and inert gases the domain of water which covers a very big area of the earth's surface is called hydrosphere it comprises water in all its three states that is solid liquid and gas the realm of life is called biosphere which is a narrow zone where we find land water and air together it contains all forms of life lithosphere litho in greek means rock rocks form the solid crust of the earth and the thin layers of soil that contain nutrient elements which sustain organisms there are two main divisions of the earth's surface the large land masses are known as continents and the huge water bodies are known as oceans all the oceans of the world are connected with one another out of the total area of lithosphere about 71% is covered with water the remaining 29% is above the surface of water in the form of land masses the level of water is called the sea level the height or depth of any point on the lithosphere is measured with reference to this point for example mount everest the highest point on the lithosphere is 8848 meters above the sea level similarly mariana trench in the pacific ocean the deepest point on the lithosphere is 11034 meters below the sea level continents there are seven major continents namely asia africa europe australia north america south america and antarctica look at the map of the world figure 7.1 and notice that the greater part of the land masses lies in the northern hemisphere which is called land hemisphere most of this southern hemisphere is covered by oceans and seas this hemisphere is called water hemisphere asia this is the largest continent of the world asia covers an area greater than europe and africa put together sometimes europe and asia are together known as eurasia asia is separated from europe by the ural mountains and the caspian sea on the west this continent covers about 1/3 of the total land area of the world and this continent lies in the eastern hemisphere the tropic of cancer passes through this continent the continent is also bounded by oceans on the three sides the arctic ocean to the north the indian ocean to the south and the pacific ocean to the east it has two most populous countries of the world namely china and india trivia Asia is almost 30% of the world's land area and contains 60% of the world's population. The highest point on earth, Mount Everest, is in Asia. The lowest point on land, the Dead Sea, is also in Asia. The Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure that can be seen from space. Asia is the only continent that borders two other countries, Africa and Europe. Asia is the only continent that borders two other continents Africa and Europe it sometimes joins with a third continent North America in the winter by ice forming in the Bering Sea Asia contains many of the largest cities in the world including the two largest Shanghai China and Mumbai India Africa this is the second largest continent of the world The equator passes through the middle of the continent. However, 
a large part of Africa lies to the north of the equator. It is the only continent through which equator, the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn pass. The world's largest hot desert called the Sahara Desert is located in Africa. The continent is bounded from all sides by the oceans and seas. Look at the world map, you will find that the world's longest river, the Nile, flows through Africa. The Strait of Gibraltar in the northwest and the Mediterranean Sea separates it from the European continent. The Swiss Canal separates it from Asia. It is the busiest ocean route today. It has reduced a distance of about 7,000 kilometers between India and Europe. Europe This continent lies to the west of Asia and is much smaller than Asia. It lies entirely in the northern hemisphere but extends into both the eastern and the western hemispheres. The Arctic Circle passes through it. On the three sides, it is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea and the North Sea. Europe is a densely populated continent of the world. No other country has left its impact on the other continents of the world as Europe has done in the past four centuries. Europe is sometimes called the Peninsula of Asia. North America This is the third largest continent of the world. It lies entirely in the northern and the western hemisphere. It is surrounded on all sides by oceans and seas except to the south where it meets South America. It is joined to South America by the Isthmus of Panama. An isthmus is a narrow strip of land joining two large land masses. The famous Niagara Falls between the Canada and United States lie in this continent. In the southwest of United States, a large part of the continent is a desert. Through human efforts, much of this desert has been turned into lush green fields. The continent is bordered by three oceans, namely the Pacific, the Atlantic and the Arctic. South America South America lies mostly in the southern hemisphere. The Andes Mountains in South America constitute the longest mountain system in the world. These mountains cover the entire western edge of the continent. The equator passes through its northernmost part. South America has the Amazon River, which is the second largest and the longest river of the world. Once the whole area around the Amazon River was surrounded with very dense rainforests. Now much of these rainforests have been cleared. Australia The name Australia comes from the Latin word Australis meaning southern. This continent lies entirely in the southern hemisphere. The Tropic of Capricorn passes through the middle of this continent. It is also called the Island Continent because it is surrounded on all sides by the oceans. This is the smallest continent and a country as well. Kangaroo is the unique animal of this continent. Antarctica It lies completely in the southern hemisphere. The South Pole lies almost in the center of the continent. It is permanently covered with thick ice sheets as it is located in the South Polar region. There are no permanent human settlements. Many countries have research stations in Antarctica. India also has research stations there, namely Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri. Hydrosphere Earth is also known as the Blue Planet because of presence of water in oceans, on land and in the atmosphere. Water in all its forms on Earth accounts for 71% of Earth's crust. Oceans have more than 97% of all water found on Earth. The remaining 2.8% water in the Earth is in the form of ice sheets, glaciers, running water and underground water which is called fresh water. The major part of hydrosphere consists of five oceans. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean and the Southern Ocean in order of their size. Trivia 
the Pacific Ocean is the Earth's largest ocean. All seven continents could fit over the Pacific Ocean and there would still be room for another Asia. The Pacific extends from the Arctic Ocean in the north to the continent of Antarctica in the south. North and South America form the eastern edge of this great ocean, while Asia and Australia border the Pacific to the west. The Pacific Ocean is so deep that in some places more than 100 statues of liberty could be stacked on top of one another and they would still be underwater. Pacific Ocean It is larger in area than all the oceans put together. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the earth, lies under the Pacific Ocean. It is circular in shape. Asia, Australia, North and South America surround it. Atlantic Ocean This is the second largest ocean in the world and it resembles the shape of the letter S. It is bounded on the west by North America, on the east by Europe and to the north it merges into the Arctic Ocean. This is the busiest ocean in the world. The coastline of Atlantic Ocean is highly indented. This irregular and indented coastline provides ideal location for natural harbors and ports. Indian Ocean It is the only ocean named after a country that is India. The shape of the ocean is almost triangular. In the north, it is bounded by Asia, in the west by Africa and in the east by Australia. Arctic Ocean It surrounds the North Pole within the Arctic Circle. It is usually the northern extension of the Atlantic Ocean. It is connected with the Pacific Ocean by a narrow stretch of shallow water known as Bering Strait. It largely remains frozen with thick sheets of ice. It is bounded by northern coasts of North America and Eurasia. Southern Ocean It surrounds the continent of Antarctica at the South Pole. It is also considered as an extension of the Pacific, the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans. Atmosphere The blanket of air surrounding the Earth is known as the atmosphere. It extends up to about 1600 kilometers from the Earth's surface. It is very dense near Earth's surface and as we go up in the atmosphere, it becomes thinner and thinner. The atmosphere is divided into five layers depending on composition, temperature and other properties. These layers are called the stratosphere, the troposphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere and the exosphere. These atmospheric layers prevent escape of heat from the earth. They also do not allow harmful ultraviolet rays to reach the earth. They also keep the earth warm during nights and in winters. Cloud formation and rainfall on earth's surface take place in troposphere. Air is an abundant mixture of many gases. The most abundant of these gases are nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21% and inert gases less than 1%. Water vapor and dust particles are also present in air. Oxygen is the breath of life while nitrogen helps in the growth of living organisms. Carbon dioxide, though present in a minute amount, is important as it absorbs heat radiated by the earth thereby keeping the planet warm. It is also essential for the growth of plants as plants manufacture their food by the process of photosynthesis. Air has weight and exerts pressure on Earth's surface, but we do not feel this pressure because it is balanced by the pressure inside our bodies. The atmospheric pressure varies from place to place. Some areas experience high pressure and some areas low pressure. Air moves from high pressure to low pressure. Moving air is known as wind. The density of atmosphere varies with height. It is maximum at sea level and decreases rapidly as they go up. The climbers have to carry oxygen cylinders with them to be able to breathe at high altitudes. The temperature also decreases as they go upwards. Biosphere Life is possible where all the three zones, 
the lithosphere, the hydrosphere and the atmosphere come in contact. This narrow contact zone consisting of living organisms is called biosphere. This zone extends a little